This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I explore the 2020 and a half Flagstaff Microlite 22 FBS and its cousin, the Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. The unloaded vehicle weight of this unit is 4,875 pounds, a specific unit, and the exterior length is 23 feet 10 inches. The fresh water capacity, 58 gallons, the gray 30, and the black 30. Here's the layout. I'm going to be highlighting in yellow uh, specific elements of uh, this layout. In the slide out you have the theater seating which replaced the original 44-inch uh, dinette. In the top left corner is the shower and the restroom area. Very conveniently located. And uh, to the right and to the front is the full-size queen bed, 60 by 80 inch. And right above it is the overhead cabinets, and to the far left bottom there is another storage area for uh, clothing, etc. Highlighted is the uh, kitchen area, including microwave, the fridge, and the pantry, and of course the uh, stovetop and oven. And right in front, conveniently located uh, before the theater seating, is the fireplace and entertainment center. I shot this video on November 14, 2019. I saw this travel trailer at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people in the world. Up front on this unit, a typical arrangement, two 30-pound uh, propane tanks, uh, power tongue jacks, and an area there for uh, two batteries. As I noted earlier, this is the dry weight of 4,875 pounds. They give you a nice spot to put your uh, seven-way plug. It's uh, nested right there. Here's some uh, bits of information. If you have a very good eye, <laughs> you can read it. And of course, right there is the gravity fill. Let me open up the uh, front uh, pass-through storage. And this is a good size uh, pass-through storage. This is, of course, a 30 amp cable. And I usually don't show these items, but I might as well show them to you today. I figure uh, you know, it's a good opportunity. I think this is uh, to, uh, for the jacks. I do not know what that is for. Maybe it's for the uh, power tongue jack, the manual, you know, control for that. I don't know. Maybe this is. I don't know. Again, I should read the manual. You should read the manual if you buy this unit. In this bag, they have odds and ends and, you know, connections for the propane tank, etc. Don't forget to leave your friendly comments uh, below the uh, description. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll try to answer any questions. And of course, if you have any questions, you can contact your local Rockwood or Flagstaff dealership. Here's a shot of the slide. Of course, on the sides there, they have the sliding windows. And in the front, they have the Jealousy awning style windows. Here's another view of the slide out. And of course, a ladder in the uh, spare tire, etc., etc. Here's a close up of the windows, the uh, awning style, and the regular style windows. Here's a slide out mechanism. It's a uh, rack and pinion as compared to the usual Schwintec. Again, Schwintec is designed for lighter slides. This is a heavier slide. This unit has the uh, upgraded Torflex suspension, a definite upgrade over leaf springs. There's the terminations and of course the heated and enclosed underbelly. And here's a tight shot of all the different connections for water and antennas, etc., etc. LED lights in and out. And there's a shot of the area where you can connect a bike rack. Not much more than a bike rack, by the way. Not designed for something heavy. Talking about something heavy, there I am bouncing on the steps, making sure they uh, work properly. And they are a definite, definite plus. A lot of other manufacturers don't even include these uh, Moride steps. There I am checking out this top of the roof. There's the uh, Max Air fan with cover, air conditioned unit, and of course, the Y. Fi Ranger. Very nice indeed. Yes, I'm uh, going to go down the, <laughs> the ladder now in my cowboy boots. Yes, I'm in Texas. I have to wear cowboy boots. It's required. I'm going to go inside, but uh, in about a minute I'll be showing you inside. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you some more of the uh, exterior. Show you some of the decals. So show you some of the uh, other amenities. And again, like I talked about earlier, these are the Morai steps. Wow, I really appreciate them. The step above Morai steps, they're quality construction. And these are the upgraded Morai steps. Some of the stickers for this 22 FBS. Uh, I thought I'd show them to you so you can take a peek at it. Why not? 
Uh, this is a 15 minute video. I'm gonna go into detail about all kinds of crazy stuff. And there's the speakers, uh, a light outside, and the exhaust for the uh, fan. New for uh, 2020 and a half, a TPM system, a tire pressure monitoring system, very nice. And of course, like always, you can plug in a solar suitcase right there. It's as easy as pie. And this unit takes advantage of a uh, Wi-Fi Ranger. It'll extend your uh, Wi-Fi signal and uh, improve, definitely, the reception. Here's a shot of one of the stabilizers. And here I come from the side and I'm gonna be playing uh, with the uh, little table there. They have a nice table. They have a very nice little table they give you and also a little uh, grill uh, It's uh, that you can make pancakes and you know cook a steak or roast some vegetables, whatever you want. Uh, it's very nice and you can connect it on that same little ledge there. I approve. So what do you think of this little table? I really like it and uh, right above it you can see on the top left that's where you can connect a TV and right below that the antenna connection and of course uh, AC receptacles. I'll show you that in one second here. Let me walk over there and show it to you. Again, that's where you connect your TV, uh, the antenna, if you want to watch TV outside, and there's the AC receptacles. Very nice. I really like this unit. Uh, I, if I had some cash right now, I would buy it. But of course, my wife took all my money and spent it and bought a new car. Of course, that's where you can check your uh, levels and control some of the lights and the slides and of course and your AC unit right down there. Of course, I'd replace that with a digital unit as soon as possible. Why not? Digital controls are much better than those old school analog controls. One, two, three, four, five uh, drawers, slide outs, and a little uh, area for twitcher sponges, a little flip out drawer. Very nice. And of course, you have storage right on top there, right next to the microwave. So you can put some stuff up there too. I really like the countertops on this unit. They have a nice little leaf extension, extending your little uh, prep area. Very nice. And of course, this unit takes advantage of in-cabinet heating. Another upgrade uh, for Flagstaff and Rockwood. As you can see here, it's plywood box construction with solid wood uh, door fronts and all metal roller glides. That's appreciated. Some other units uh, will have sticker wrap and all kinds of goofy stuff. This is a, a better uh, quality uh, nicer product. I feel you get more bang for your buck with Rockwood and Flagstaff. Uh, let me open that bifold uh, cover for the stovetop. Let me put away that paper. And as you can see right here, uh, there's the uh, stovetop, three burner stovetop, and a nicer, larger 22 inch uh, oven. Some units only give you like a smaller 16 inch. This one you can actually, actually roast a chicken, maybe even a small turkey. And of course, this is a Suburban Elite Series. I like to get tight shots once in a while, show you the countertops, the solid surface countertops. And to the right, you get a double bowl uh, stainless steel sink and of course, a nice uh, faucet. There's the covers in place. I put them back there. It's a, a nice design. I really like this, uh, the design. And there's the Magic Chef microwave in case you want to you know, if you have power, if you have AC power or a nice uh, generator, you can pop some popcorn. Why not? This manufacturer gives you an eight cubic foot refrigerator as compared to the usual six cubic foot. It's an AC propane unit. Uh, plenty of room there for your chow. Of course, I pro of, you know, I'm a big fan of AC and uh, DC uh, refrigerators. Uh, I think with a lot of solar, yeah, you can do that. Why not? Uh, I can, and if you have a lot of batteries, you can have an AC. DC refrigerator. Here's an area for some chow or some uh, you know, clothing, whatever you want. So uh, you can remove those uh, shelves and make it work for you and your specific desires and motivations. Each one of us uh, is unique. This is the pantry right across from the galley and it has uh, three distinct areas. And down there, uh, it's not only <laughs> goes, it's uh, covered up essentially. It's not, there must be something really important back there. Let's get into a little bit more detail. Let me show you the cabinetry here, what we got inside. There's plenty of room for uh, Wheaties, Postosties, your uh, macaroni, etc. <laughs> and there's that area that's covered up. Of course, there's that uh, area there with the receptacles and uh, they don't want you to bang that area with the restroom door. We're now in the restroom. And of course, they have that Maxair fan up there that's covered. 
and plenty of storage for your linens, your towels, whatever you want to put in there, and a porcelain foot flush toilet. Another area that's covered up, I guess uh, they don't want you going back there, a plastic a sink, and an area for your cup and your toothbrush, a medicine cabinet, a little towel ring to the right, and some lights and vents, and again, to the top left, a Maxer fan. There's some receptacles right there, close-up of that plastic sink, and a close-up of the medicine cabinet. Plenty of room for your stuff. This unit uh, takes advantage of the latest technology, AquaView Shower Miser technology. Uh, it'll let you run the water for a while and not use it. it just keep it uh, recycling until it's heated up to the appropriate temperature, then you can turn it on. I'm 5 foot 10 and with my cowboy boots pretty close to 6 foot and there's plenty of room for me in here. You can probably have a 6 foot 4 person in that bubble right there. And there I am posing and uh, looking horrible. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I'm going to close this up. This has magnetic latches there and a little rubbery uh, contrivance to hold the door in place as you're traveling down the road. Shooting this uh, RV walkthrough has been exhausting, so I'm sitting down on this uh, beautiful recliner with four cup holders. And of course, I went to uh, Explore USA RV Super Center in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people in the world. And again, this is a sturdily built, uh, you know, recliner. It has an area there where you can put your, uh, you know, that little table that comes in and comes out and you can put your you know your laptop your meal whatever you want and of course this has heating a light and massage a very light massage inside the storage area you can connect two usb devices and there's an ac receptacle where i'm sitting is a, you get a great view of the tv i really appreciate that since i'm a big tv watcher for your 4k uh, visual pleasure there's a tight shot of the uh, pole street and there's a shot of the pleated uh, you know, window covers, and uh, right there is some storage right above those uh, two easy chairs. They plop down. I'd rather have them plop up, but that would require the expense of uh, some pistons. I would, again, prefer they plop up. What do you think? What's uh, your opinion on this matter? Uh, you know, of course, you can always leave your uh, comments, your friendly comments, below the description. I'd appreciate it. LED lights inside and out, and another shot of the window valance. We're now in the bedroom, and of course that glorious uh, automotive style window uh, brings a lot of light into this unit. I'm going to sit down and pose for a second. You can see me there. Uh, yes, I gained a few pounds over the summer. i got to lose those uh, during the winter, uh, during Thanksgiving, and of course Christmas eating pie, cake, and turkey. As you can see, the uh, top for the storage area is framed in aluminum and they use plywood not just some cheap uh, type of wood you know that uh, beaver puke <laughs> so you get three drawers here and you have a separate storage area right above it so you have two sections of storage let me lift up that mattress it's a thick mattress it was a good size mattress and it has a lot of heft to it it's not some cheap mattress you might not have to replace it you might just have to put a little foam topper and call it good there i am content in my uh, work there Let's go check out the uh, cabinet storage. You get one drawer here. On the other side, they just have receptacles. So you have storage, a shirt closet there, and storage right above. Let me go around the uh, bed here. And uh, right there is another shirt closet. And you have storage up here that goes all the way across. So you get plenty of storage on this uh, Flagstaff Microlite 22FB. A very nice shelter. Again, there's this. The receptacles, two AC, uh, 12 volt, and two USB. And that's that drawer on the side. Of course, you get little, little end tables. There's a TV, there's a stereo with two speakers, the fireplace, uh, electric fireplace, and some storage out here. It goes back about three inches of storage, so you can put some items back here. Uh, maybe some DVDs, a book, who knows? It's all up to you. So what do you think of this unit so far? Don't forget to leave your friendly and kind comments below the description. And there's the uh, head unit with the two speakers. And of course, this is an IRV Technologies unit. Very nice, very high quality. Unlike other uh, folks out there, I'll show you behind the scenes. So there's a, where you can connect the solar uh, controller, etc. And uh, 
the various elements of the TV. Please like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And don't forget to ring the bell for future notifications. This has been Asus Manuel Menagarza. Checking out the 2020 and a half Flagstaff Microlite 22 FPS Rockwood Mini Light 2205S, a new under 5,000 pound couples camper. This has been Eclectic RV and Travel Adventures. Again, my name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye.